Well, welcome again. I'm here at the chapel. Um, just, <clears throat> just in case you've forgotten what it looks like. I thought that I'd uh, read to you today from Psalm 30. A psalm and song of the, at the dedication of the house of David. I will extol thee, O Lord. For thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought me up, my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favour is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favour thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent, O Lord, my God. I will give thanks unto thee forever. I think it's important that we again remember that, as verse five says, that the Lord's anger endures but for a moment. But in his favour is life. We know that favour because we have that life. We are hid in Christ. This is a glorious message to all of God's people. But I want us to especially rejoice and to sing unto our God for our salvation. Verse 6 continues. And in my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. It's easy to trust God when everything is well, when we are prosperous. But what is our faith like now, here, today? Three days and we've been told that we're not to go out, we're not allowed to meet. These aren't days of prosperity in that sense. Our movement is curtailed. Our lives have been affected. But can we still say that we trust God? Can we still say that we will not be moved? Because we know him who is faithful, who has assured us that we are his and he is ours. Again, please let us know how we can pray for one another. Let us know how our joy has been turned at this time into sadness and how we can pray for one another and see when the Lord turns that sadness to joy. Let's pray. Our gracious Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you that your wrath is definitely kindled at this time, but that wrath will never fall upon us. For your eternal Son hung upon that tree for our salvation, for the absorption of all of that wrath. He, he drank the cup of wrath to the very dregs. There is none left for your people. We are indeed not appointed to wrath, but we have been appointed to life. Father, we pray that at this time, when things are not prosperous, that we, along with the psalmist, might declare our trust in you and that our faith in Christ will not be shaken, will not be moved. 
Father, we bless you for your goodness to us. And again, we pray for our brothers and sisters across this world, across this land, who cannot gather together as they would wish. Ask, O oh Lord, that you would especially take care of us and them at this time. To the glory of Christ, to the upbuilding of his church. Lord, may the reading of the Psalms, may the reading of the scriptures, may the meditation of our hearts, Lord, be pleasing to you. And let us ponder upon these things, meditate upon the truth of your word. That, Lord, we would be steadfast, unmovable, because of the faith once delivered to the saints. We bless you. We sing praises to you, Lord, for thou art worthy, and we adore thee, and we look for thy coming. O oh, eternal God, Father, Son and Spirit, we pray that you would hear our prayer, that you would unite our hearts in Christ to the glory of that wonderful name we ask. Amen. God bless.